what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a ramped slow mo on Adobe After Effects CS5. So, first you're going to want to open up the program and import your clip. If you don't know how to import it, all you got to do is go to File, Import. Just find your clip on your computer and uh, just bring it up in here. So, once you have it in here, you're going to go to Composition, New Composition. So, once you're in New Composition or Composition Settings, you can just change the name of it. I'm just going to rename it Ramps Clip. So once you name it, you can go through all the settings of how you want your clip. Uh, I already have mine preset, but I'll just show you. You see how there's like tons? Pretty much any setting for any camera. Here you can change the width and the height, and uh, you pretty much know how to do that. Make sure your frame rate, I think it does it for you. If it doesn't, make sure it's the right speed. Uh, it, it should tell you. If it's not, just keep messing around changing it until you get a good one, because if it's not, it'll lag. And make sure your resolution's on full. So once you do that, click OK, and you're going to click your original clip and drag it down here. Uh, you can see there's like uh, there's black lines on the side of it. All you got to do is just click the clip and drag it till you have it fitting perfectly. All right, so once you have it where you want it, you're going to make sure that you go to uh, magnif magnification ratio pop-up. And make sure it's set to fit up to 100%. Once you have that, everything's set. So all you got to do is come down here, click your clip, right-click it, go up to Time, Enable Time Remapping, and click that. From here, you're going to um, drag this over to wherever you want to start your ramping, like you're ramping the clip. So once you find the part you want, so I'm going to get mine right when the wheels come off the stair set. You're going to come over here and click this button. It says add or remove keyframe at current time. It's a little diamond with these arrows next to it. Click once. That sets the first one. And then go to where you want to end your ramp, uh, your ramped clip. And just uh, probably right where the wheels hit the ground. And uh, click it again. Then you're going to want to select both these by just highlighting them. And, going, and you just go to graph editor. Click that, and now you've got up this little graph. This is important. Make sure you click Show Transform Box when multiple key, uh, keys are selected. It's right here. Click that. This will help ramping it a lot easier. It just keeps the line straight. And if you want to make it big, just hit Fit All Graphs to View. So right there, you're going to click the line once. And you're, this is really important. Hold down Shift before you try to move it. Hold down Shift, then click it and just drag it out to where you want it. If it's too long, don't worry, you can come back and fix it. And make sure the top line's at one second. That keeps it consistent. So from here, uh, just click it again, hold down shift, and just drag it up. And you can notice that the uh, you can just drag it left, right, up, down to how you want it uh, curved. And this is the actual like how the clip ramps. This is the speed of the clip. Do the same with the back. And you see this orange line? That's helped to, uh, because of this, it keeps everything pretty much even. You're going to notice if you try to play your video at first, it's going to go really slow. And you got to make sure it loads through. If you didn't know that, I guess you do now. And you'll also notice there's no sound with it. When you want to preview your clip, you're going to go over to Preview. And you'll see this button. It looks like a play button at the very right uh, corner. It says RAM Preview. Click that. And you'll notice that now you have sound. Uh, if you want to change this clip around to make uh, make the ramp a little bit different, you can do whatever you want. It's just about trial and error. And if you want to intensify how you ramped it, you can uh, hit sh uh, hold down shift and drag one of them to the center. And make sure whatever you do to one, you do to the other so they're even. And drag that. And again, if you think it's too long of a slow-mo, all you have to do, you don't have to hold shift on this, just click it and drag it inwards. That way it will make it a smaller slow-mo. Um, you can see how this plays, and if you don't like it, you can change it, but I'll just give you like a little idea of what like dragging the corners in makes it sound like. Um, once you find how you like it, all you got to do is go to Composition, Add to Render Queue, or K, I don't know how to say that, but you just click this button right here. Uh, from here, this is really important. It'll say Output Module. Click the button, the orange one that says lossless. Once you click that, you'll bring up this screen right here. 
two important things. Make sure you check the button that says audio output. If you don't click this button, your ramp slow mo will have no sound, and we don't want that. And then if you want to change the format of your video, say like you want to increase the quality by using a different format, has a bunch of formats. I recommend H.264. It gives pretty good quality video, especially for YouTube. Uh, but you can click whatever you want you want. Then you just click OK. And here where it says output to, uh, you see the orange clip, click this. You can change the name to whatever you want. Ramped clip. Uh, you can change it wherever you want. And you can save it in whatever folder you want. This will save the clip in a folder so you can come back and mess with it later. And then you're just going to click render. And once you click render, you're going to wait for it to load. It doesn't take that long. As soon as it's rendered, your clip will be saved in that file. And it'll be uh, it'll be a ramp slow mo clip. I hope this video helped. Um, please like this video if it helped. And if uh, you have any questions or ideas on new videos, just comment in the um, comment box. If you have any questions, I'll try my best to answer every single question. And please help me out and subscribe. I know everybody says that, but I'm trying to make my videos more popular on YouTube and get a little more subscribers. So it'd really help me out if you could subscribe. I could give more. Um, I give more uh, tutorials on Adobe, and uh, also I make a bunch of skate videos. So uh, check my channel out, subscribe. Hope this helps, and uh, thank you for watching.